Hi everybody, today's focus is all about vinegar. I'm gonna test and see how well vinegar removes bacteria around my home, but I'm gonna test it in three different ways. We're gonna test full strength vinegar, vinegar diluted 50-50 with water, and vinegar diluted 50-50 with dish soap. Lots of viewers have suggested that I test vinegar in all sorts of different ways. Vinegar mixed with water, vinegar mixed with dish soap, vinegar plain. So I am going to conduct some of those tests today. You can get vinegar with different acidity levels. The one I'm using is just a 5% acidity from Walmart, just regular basic white vinegar. In order to test how well vinegar or these vinegar dilutions remove bacteria in my home, I'm gonna take sterile swabs in a petri dish just like this guy here, and I'm gonna label it A, B, and C. I'm gonna take those sterile swabs and swab various areas around my home and place those samples in the section labeled B for before. Then I'll clean with the vinegar solution, swab the area again, and place that sample in A for after. C is our control, nothing is going to go here. I'll swab areas around my home such as the kitchen counter, the kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. For the 50-50 dilution with dish soap, I'll use my 5% acidity vinegar and palm olive dish soap. I have already conducted a video in bacteria testing on palm olive dish soap, so I'll put a link to that video in the description if you're interested in seeing how well palm olive dish soap removes bacteria in my home. I'll spray the area, scrub, rinse, and retest. When I test full strength vinegar, I will spray the area that I'm testing, let it sit for five minutes, wipe, and retest. And when I test for the 50-50 water and vinegar, I'll do the same as that I'll spray, let it sit for five minutes, wipe, and retest. So let's see what removes more bacteria from my home. Full strength vinegar, vinegar diluted with water, or vinegar diluted with dish soap. Results for the 50-50 dish soap vinegar. 
the kitchen counter. The before section, we can see a lot of bacteria there. And in the after section, I only counted one bacterial colony. So this 50-50 dilution did a great job at removing bacteria from my kitchen counter. The kitchen sink, in the before section, again, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, I didn't have any bacteria at all. So the 50-50 dilution did a great job at removing bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. The before section, we can see a lot of bacteria, which is what we expect from a drain of a kitchen sink. And in the after section, we have zero. I didn't have any bacterial growth at all. So the 50-50 dilution did a great job at removing bacteria from my kitchen sink drain. If you enjoy seeing these Petri dish results, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up, and maybe share this video with some friends. The bathroom sink. The before section, we can see a lot of bacteria there. And in the after section, I know it's a little hard to see, but I counted six very tiny bacterial colonies. So this dilution did a great job at removing bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a smearing of bacteria. You can't even differentiate the different colonies there. There's so much bacteria there. And in the after section, I counted nine bacterial colonies. This is excellent. So the 50-50 dilution did a great job at removing bacteria from my toilet rim. Now for some results, the full strength vinegar. The kitchen counter. The before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. In the after section, that looks fantastic. I only counted one bacterial colony. So full strength vinegar did an amazing job of removing bacteria from my kitchen counter. The kitchen sink. The before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. In the after section, I counted two tiny bacterial colonies. So the full strength vinegar did an amazing job at removing bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. The before section has a smearing of bacteria. That is a tremendous amount of bacteria for the kitchen drain. And the after section had zero bacterial colonies. I didn't see one on that side. So full strength vinegar did an amazing job at removing bacteria from my kitchen sink, the drain. The bathroom sink. Before section, we can see a lot of bacteria there. In the after section, I didn't find any bacterial colonies at all. So full strength vinegar did an amazing job at removing bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. The before section has a tremendous amount of bacteria there, big smearing of bacteria. And the after section has a visible decrease in bacteria. It's not as profound as we've seen in the other examples, but it definitely is a decrease. Full strength vinegar does it, 
okay job at removing bacteria from my toilet rim. Results for half vinegar, half water. The kitchen counter. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria there. In the after section, there is no bacterial growth at all. So the 50-50 dilution with water did a great job at removing bacteria from my kitchen counter. The kitchen sink. The before section, we see a lot of bacteria there. And in the after section, I counted two bacterial colonies. So the 50-50 dilution with water did a great job at removing bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. The before section has a tremendous amount of bacteria there. In the after section, we can definitely see a significant decrease in bacteria. We're not seeing as significant of a decrease that we saw in the kitchen counter or the other part of the kitchen sink, but there most certainly is a decrease. The 50-50 dilution with water does an okay job at removing bacteria from my kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink. The before section we see a lot of bacteria there and in the after section there are some bacterial colonies. I counted them and I counted eight bacterial colonies. So it is a good decrease. The 50-50 dilution with water does a pretty good job at removing bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. The before section has a lot of bacteria and the after section looks just about the same as the before section. In this case, we're not seeing any decrease in bacteria from the before and the after. So the 50-50 dilution with water does not do a good job at removing bacteria from my toilet rim. So let's put all of those results together and compare the vinegar full strength, vinegar 50-50 with dish soap, vinegar 50-50 with water. I'm also going to compare just dish soap, and I had done this video previously. I put a link to it in the description. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you. Let's look at the kitchen counter. In all of the before sections, we see a lot of bacteria, which is great. And in the after section, on every single one of them, there is a significant decrease in bacteria. The only one where we had one small bacterial colony was the 50-50 mixture of vinegar and palm olive. But overall, all four of these do a great job at removing bacteria from the kitchen counter. As we move on to the kitchen sink, we see a similar pattern. The before sections have a lot of bacteria, and the after sections have virtually none. There are a few small bacterial colonies here and there. We have a few in just the palm olive alone, and one or two in the dilution with vinegar and water. So all four of these do a great job at removing bacteria from the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drains. Again, we're having a lot of bacteria in the before sections, which is great. 
And the only one that stands out to me as not doing quite as good as the others is the mixture of 50-50 vinegar with water. It seems that that mixture is not strong enough to remove all the bacteria from my kitchen sink drain, the bathroom sink. So right away we can see that the palm olive and vinegar 50-50 as well as the full strength vinegar do a fantastic job for removing all the bacteria that's in the bathroom sink. So the other two, just the palm olive and the vinegar water dilution, do have some bacterial colonies in the after section. It's not a tremendous amount at all. I still think both do a great job at removing bacteria, but it's something to note that those two just seem to do a little less removal of bacteria than the palm olive with the vinegar and the vinegar full strength. The toilet rim. So this one is very interesting to me. The mixture that removed the most bacteria from the toilet rim was the vinegar and palm olive 50-50. And the palm olive alone, as well as the full strength vinegar, did similar jobs at decreasing the bacteria. The one that did not do well at all was the vinegar diluted with water. So looking at these results, I'm just not going to use vinegar to disinfect my toilet rim at all. I've had plenty of other cleaners, and you can look at other videos on my channel, where the toilet rim is cleaned much better. Overall, I found these results to be very interesting. It took about a month for me to run all of these tests so we could get these results for vinegar and what the best way is to use vinegar. I think there's a lot of different options here. I think for people who enjoy using the vinegar with soap, it's a great option. I think people who like using it full strength, it's a good option also. For me, using full strength vinegar is a little too strong uh, smelling in my home. I don't mind the smell of vinegar. I actually love salt and vinegar potato chips, but I do think if I'm doing an all day cleaning in my home, it can be very overwhelming to just use full strength vinegar uh, while I'm cleaning. And like I said before, the only place I really don't think I would use vinegar to clean is my toilet rim. It just didn't do a good enough job. And there are plenty of other cleaners that remove way more bacteria than the vinegar did. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. I do a very long list. It's about 250 suggestions long right now. I'm doing my best to get through all of them. Or you can mail me something. I have an Amazon wish list link in the description. I also have my mailbox address in the description. So if you want to mail me something, just do me a favor and send me an email first so that I know it's from you. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different ways that vinegar can be used to remove bacteria. I had a great time making this. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.